receptive, be open, and find a spot that just breathes and it's alive. And you want to know what you do there? You give it more life. And you really got you really got to start being able to see auras. You really got to start being able to see auras. You really need to start being able to feel the kundalini um, moving down your system on, from the inside and up your system on the outside. You really need to start to understand this. You really need to start to be able to focus on whatever chakra you want. You want your third eye, you need to be able to feel it tingle, activate, turn into a blue light, and then expand, and then, and then you need to know how to shoot your, your soul fibers into those chakras because they're useless. They're like lenses. Your heart chakra is a lens. But if there's no flash of light going through it, what does that lens do? Nothing. So if you want, you have a heart chakra and you, you know, program it to joy and love, but you, you, your soul feels defeated, you're not projecting any light through that. So how are you building light? How are you building this, these ojas? How are you building these um, luminous fibers of light? Okay, it's internally and it's externally. You need to know how to go and push, push your energy body further out. And this is especially after doing powerful works for the for the earth because you would have absorbed a lot of earth energy. And from there you can just and you can and you can really bam expand your expand your your aura. And when you expand your aura, those light fibers will stretch. And they don't want it. They don't want to be stressed. So what they will do is when they come back inside of you, when they get near your core, they will um, break in half and multiply. So then you'll have double the light fibers. They'll be thinner, so it'll be easier for them to stretch and be larger. That's how you do it. Also, working with the communities, working with your families, doing the good work, and doing the good work on the inside. You gotta build your light fibers because we need to start acupuncturing, pushing in needles of light all over the world so we can activate this world, get this thing on, get this business going. I mean, it's already going, there's tons of us doing it, but you can do it too. All right, wherever you are, you can go out there and it, you can start projecting your luminous fibers of light into everything, into the trees and everything, and they're going to reflect that consciousness of, of the, uh, the stable tree and, and the, the nobleness of, of that tree um, standing up and receiving the light. You project it into another person, and that person can be, and, and you could, make, you know, through some words, but also, you know, be aware of maybe sending some projections of light through a, a filtered heart chakra of, of forgiveness or joy, and that person will will receive that emotion, and then they'll be, they might not attribute it to you, but. Um, they will go through the proper change to feel good again. Um, especially around your house. Put a whole bunch of pillars of light. And so that's not just shooting light fibers, that's taking a lot of your light, building a portal, and then drawing it into a specific, mm, a specific tone, like, you know, you would program your heart chakra or program your third eye if you want to travel through time or if you wanted to astral project a remote view you program your throat you know like however you pro you program these pillars of light and and you you'll need to work on them a lot you know I mean I
love y'all that motherfuckers ain't got the resources or the luminous light beams to even mess with this um that's what i'm saying we be shiva uh we be doing it all you people i gotta say this to to, to shakti pats here and whatever um the girl is and that dude m2 frogman how often are you out at 2 a.m in the morning um hiking hiking from midnight till 6 a.m to activate um in sacred spots to do ceremonies to do um extremely powerful spiritual things so that we can uh, known scientifically manipulate the large sources large quantities of water which humans are made mostly of water in the underground water reserves that that disperse all the way down to the amazon river the the largest river in the world so before you go hating on people who are doing um things that you might not understand because your books haven't taught you them um maybe you should try to so get off your high horses and get off your your hating on what you don't know what you don't understand because i will tell you right now what i'm doing from midnight to 6 a.m in the morning will have effect on thousands of people and the continued work by more of us waking up to our ability to co-manifest uh, a, a, a divine world, a world of, of, and sorry right now I'm in the second chakra zone and also activating a, a type of a, um, warrior force, the, the discipline, zen, centeredness needed to be a warrior as well as the ability to jump into action to be a warrior. And that's the temple I'm in right now, so I'm kind of projecting that energy. I'm gonna let you guys go on that. I really gotta get to the, the third chakra one, which is about manifestation, um, thought control. Um, you having your actions be stable enough so that your thoughts can't manipulate them but your thoughts become a tool to organize your actions in a better way. So peace, wands work, dumbasses. It's, it's, like a, it's like a satellite antenna for energy. It connects to the moon. It connects to the northern star. I can wrap my, I can shoot my fibrous light, fi we all have it, internal soul that makes an aura.